So Ms. Callahan, I'm going to go into weathering. Please remember, I'm just going to remind you about erosion. Erosion occurs from weathering. So weathering actually breaks down the rocks or changes the rocks, and then erosion is actually the movement of those rock pieces. Uh, weathering is pretty much the rocks undergoing some type of change, either from physical or chemical. So mechanical is the same thing as physical. The rock is actually just, you know, the physical appearance of it is just changing. Chemical, it like I said, is just the, the change of the actual chemical composition of the rock. There's different types of physical weathering. Um, but m most of the time it is due to stuff like ice. Okay, you get some ice wedges, it freezes, it um, expands, and it can actually break apart. Um, also water. Water can be a physical, I mean ice is water, but um, just regular water can also be a physical weathering factor as well. You also have some biological factors such as trees, um, all different types of plants besides trees and animals that can actually break them down too. So for example, you take a hammer, you go outside, you break down a rock, that's an example of mechanical weathering. Chemical weathering is a little bit different. It is based off of different things like Here's an example of some field spar, which is a rock that combines with water and it makes a common form of clay that we use. Uh, carbonation, in other words, you get this carbonic acid and it forms a new product as well so here is your lovely caves and you I know you know these guys you've seen these in caves before um, also oxidation can cause uh, mechanical I said mechanical chemical weathering sorry about that chemical weathering which is just pretty much oxidation which causes rust in the rocks another Chemical weathering is acid precipitation, which you can see this tombstone here has been deleted out.